But uh, there are a lot to, uh, I think the Middle East have a lot to offer. Um, yes, I saw the we import a lot of oil and we export a lot of Toyota. But uh, I think our relation need to go beyond that. Japan is racially or religiously very neutral. And uh, we have no negative footprint in the history. So we can be a good, honest broker in uh, conflict in the Middle East. And that's what we should be uh, doing it. So when I was a foreign minister, I started, a, I opened up a new Japan Arab political dialogue. That was the first time and uh, we did it in Cairo. And we are supposed to do it uh, sometime this year for the second time. And I visited almost every single country in the Middle East except uh, uh, not Libya, not Yemen, not Syria. But uh, I guess I visited almost all the rest of the country and some several times. Uh, we share the common values. Uh, we have a high uh, respect for the elders, and we think the family is very important values. So we sit in the east of the Asian continent and the Middle East in the west. Middle East in the west. Kind of, <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> but we share the common values, and uh, we can be uh, better friends, and I think we need to work together. In order to do that, we need to know we need to know what people in the Middle East are actually thinking or what's happening daily basis. And we haven't got the uh, source for that. But now Arab News came to Japan and they're going to start news in Japanese. And I bet they would carry news in Japan in Arabic as well. So this is a very good mean to exchange the information between the Middle East and Japan. So I'm very much looking forward to it. And this is the beginning of new era. Our emperor has enthronement ceremony tomorrow. So, I mean, there can be no better day to start this endeavor. So welcome, Arab News. Welcome, Ali. And uh, we hope that this venture will be very successful into the future. Thank you very much.